Hello, this video will cover topics such as what eating disorders are, where they may have originated from, and how experts have broadened their research on eating disorders. Eating disorders involve physiological changes linked with food restrictions, binge eating, purging, and fluctuations in weight. Also includes sentiments of trouble or extraordinary concern about body shape or weight. Eating disorders are not due to disappointment of will or behavior. They are genuine treatable restorative ailments in which certain maladaptive designs of eating take on a life of their own. People who endure from eating disorders can involve a wide range of health complications. It is vital to recognize um, signs of eating and treat them early. Three primary types of eating disorders are anorexia nerviosa, bulimia nerviosa, and binge eating disorder. Subthreshold eating disorder show uh, indications of clutter but doesn't require a formal diagnosis. A few individuals may have indications of more than one disorder. There is a theory that dysfunctional interaction between parents and adolescents lead to eating disorder. However, saying that family is a result of eating disorder will hinder efforts of treatment. It can cause feelings of guilt and shame. Nevertheless, there is not a lot of scientific evidence that proves that this is true. Scientists believe that genes are the cause of eating disorders. It is estimated that 50% to 83% are at risk for developing an eating disorder. There is a strong link between eating disorders and history of abuse because stressful events may cause eating disorders in genetically predisposed individuals. Examples of these life events are wartime military service, the death of a loved one, or constant social pressure to achieve thinness. Researchers are also studying epigenetics. Epigen epigenetics is heritable changes in gene expression that do not involve changes to the underlying DNA as it pertains to eating disorders. There is, this is as it pertains to eating disorders. Um, there is some research on maternal stress or hormone levels in pregnancy that can foretell the development of eating disorders in their children. This can prevent and treat possible eating disorders. From all this evidence, it is simple to say that genes set the stage for development of eating disorders, but environmental factors also play a role. 